Hi there and welcome to another Sonic Academy tutorial with me, Phil Johnston. Uh, this one we're going to take a feature walkthrough of our new plugin, Kick2. So this is all very, very exciting for us to finally show people what we've been working on for what seems like a, a very long time. Um, so this is Kick2, um, a brand new beautiful interface designed by myself and Brian. Um, we did a lot of work. We basically wrote, rewrote the whole thing from the ground up. Um, don't think there's very much of the original kick in here. Um, and the first thing we really tackled was the synth engine. Um, we wanted to create something that was a bit cleaner than kick one and a bit more versatile. So uh, we went in and we've added some nice new features. Um, it's a, a lot cleaner and there's less aliasing. Um, thanks to Deadmouse 4 pointing that one out uh, in, in our beta test. And we cleaned that up there recently. Um, and it's just a lot sort of cleaner and smoother overall. Uh, we've also added a new partial system. So we have eight partials and a bunch of presets for these different partials. And if you don't know what they are, it's basically a series of sine waves. Every sort of tone can be broken down into a series of, of partials. Uh, sort of effectively additive synthesis and this can give you some um, different wave shapes and we've modeled these on um, some real kick drums and some just drum skins toms and then just some basic waveforms like saws and triangles um, working on um, let's have a tidy up here So yeah, we can listen to some basic waveforms like the triangle. If you listen to any 909 samples, you'll hear a bit of that sort of vibe in there. And then, as I say, we've got some sort of more modeled on actual real live drums. Some toms. Um, some snares and some kicks. And then you can go in and these sliders are controlling the volume of the partials. So it just gives you some nice overtones and creates some interesting sounds on your kicks. And obviously you have that full control. If you want to get super, super nerdy, um, we have presets stored in the presets or in the Sonic Academy folder beside the presets folder and you can actually go into each of these presets and modify the partial ratios so for example you could sample a, um, a live drum and go in to a spectrum analyzer and analyze what um, frequencies are popping out and then you can work them out into a ratio and put them in there. So if you're a super nerd like myself, that'll be very fun. Um, so yeah, that's the sub control. We've also added to each of the source sections um, independent kick key track. So you can have each um, section or each source independently following the keyboard. So if we play our click again, our kick is just playing straight to C1 while our kick drum is pitching. And we can turn that on and off. And um, the other thing we've added is a phase control for each of the sources now. So if you want to really match up a click and a sub, then you can go in and um, match those up with a phase. And there's other ways to do that. I'll show you in a second. Um, so moving on to our click section, we've got all the same controls, solo, mute, phase, key track, 
and then we've got load so we can load in kicks from uh, anywhere or clicks or reverbs or whatever it is you want to load in as one of your layers and we can cycle through then that folder and that folder also appears in your recent folders in the preset menu so you can go through there and we've got all our kick clicks from click uh, kick one and a few other interesting bits and bobs and um, that we've added you can also drag and drop so we can drop kicks from anywhere clicks from anywhere and drop them in we've got fil filter and length and start time so if you fancy stealing some clicks then it's very easy to do now And what else have we got? Um, we've got volume sliders for each of our sources and a pan control. Double clicking always resets all of our controls. And command on the Mac click is fine. Fine tune so you can go in and modify things very precisely. So I think that's it for the sources section. And the next section we'll move on to is this brand new waveform display and our um, nodes. Um, we have waveforms for each of the sources, which can be turned on and off independently. And we also have zoom now, so we can click on a node and we can zoom horizontally and also vertically. So very, very cool if you really want to go in and see exactly what's going on with your clicks and your subs. And it actually is really useful. You can go in and uh, really fine tune. Let me find a click with a bit of a tone. So for example, this click has some big wave shapes at the start. And we can actually go in and, and see how we're going to modify those to maybe match up. So you can see there that the waves are matched and we can actually go and fine tune, fine tune that with our pitch control. And we can see there, we can really get really close in to match phase. And again, we've got our phase switch if you want to, if you had something that was totally out. And we can go in, see if there's clicks. Oh, I've got a click in my pitch. Got a bit of a click there, so. So very cool for being able to just go in and see exactly what's going on at, at a very fine level. And we've got our gate snap and tags from kick one. They work the same way. Gate um, switches between using the envelopes to control the length or using a MIDI note. So with gate on, we can do really short kicks or really long kicks. with it off it'll just play right the way through to the end of the amp envelope snap snaps the I'll put tags on uh, snaps the nodes to pitch 
and tags just shows you the pitch indicators so you can see what you're doing. So that's the new section. Oh, there's one more bit. Uh, we've got undo and redo, so we can go back. can't exactly remember how many steps, but I think it's quite a lot. Um, so that's handy for if you make a mistake with something and you want to fix it. We've also got curve presets, so you can save um, presets of any of the any of the sources and just load them up. So very, very handy. You can obviously save your own as well if you find something that you really like. And what else have we got? We've got our new effects sections and EQ sections. So previous cake only had one EQ and it wasn't labeled particularly well. So we've redone the whole EQ section with a, a four band EQ. We've got uh, high shelf and low shelf. And then we've got some bell curves in the middle. You can go in and you've got a lot of control there. We've also got the quick controls down here. So once you've sort of set the frequency and uh, the Q factor, you can just use these as quick controls to fine tune. And you don't have to be in that menu. We've also added um, a bit more to the distortion section. And kick one, we have this drive control. And we've kept that in there for our legacy presets. Um, but it's also really handy for an, an extra gain stage. But we've added these three uh, new distortion models. Uh, we've got a clip distortion. Wave. You can hear the difference between clip and wave. Wave really um, keeps the transients very much intact at the, at the higher frequencies. Where it clips a bit more um, warm and gritty. And we've got tube is a lot sort of warmer fuzzier and um, not as aggressive overall and you can also um, choose whether you want to affect the sub just the click or both and we've got a dry wet control so you can mix between dry signal and fully wet signal and then as I said we've got our legacy drive control but it's a nice sound, adds some warmth and can, as I say, add an extra gain stage. Next up, we have our compressor. So let's turn this distortion off. Nice sounding compressor tuned to work with kicks. Very handy. And then over here we have our limiter, which is just sits on top of the uh, main fader and controls anything that goes past zero dB. And you can control there how aggressive that is. So if you have a kick and it's maybe uh, not so loud and not reaching the peak of the meters. Go in and bring it up if you like. And then we have velocity. So you can control the amount of velocity now. And then we've also got slides. So I'll go into a trap preset here.
so we can now slide between kicks. Um, that was a feature request from some of the trap producers. Um, so hope you enjoy that. And then last but not least, we have our render section. So we can input uh, a key and a, our velocity, and then we can hit generate, and that creates uh, a kick that we can just drag. And you can see there, there's the the full kick in all its glory. And you could theoretically just import that back in or use it in a sampler or anything you like, really. So that is kick two. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.